All right, y'all, so it's just a quick test fit, but I went ahead and got the dash trim piece in. And because this dashboard, a lot of it was already broken, you know, from the sun, there's really no way around it. So I didn't glue it in or anything. I just kind of have it sitting in there. So we're gonna kind of see, you know, where it's gonna go to from there. I'll take it for a drive before I glue it and, or epoxy it down. And uh, we will be able to kind of see exactly what's gonna be the next steps the alternative action is you can kind of see like if you look at it just at the right angle there you can kind of see it but hey you know the car's over 20 years old i guess i can kind of live with that so but it's better than having a big crack dash and the interior overall uh looks pretty good so once the tint and everything goes on it that's that's really the only biggest flaw of the entire car is just that part of that dash so i can uh i could live with that so, but let's move over to something a little bit more exciting. It has to do with that. We finally got our black headlights in. So, um, uh, they are two piece. You got the headlight and the uh, turn signal slash parking light. This will be uh, pretty cool. And this will definitely brighten up the front of the car. So now I can also start to put the uh, front end back on the car as well. So let's put this on. All right, we got one headlight in. We're gonna to start to get going to the next. And the fitment so far is actually really good. And I'll uh, aim them out here in a little bit and then we'll start to get the uh, bumper cover fitted on and have this thing looking like a real car soon. Woo! Look at that. Coming along. Man, what a difference with the black headlights. We got the hood closed, got the headlights and stuff. The bumper is on for good. I went ahead and adjusted the headlights, but I might need to go on ahead and uh just aim them outside I'll, I'll do that a little bit later even though it's nighttime i just don't feel like doing it. i'm kind of tired for the night uh no emblem or anything just said let me know what you guys think about the no emblem or should i get a uh you know modern little chevy bow tie i definitely uh filled in a lot of the front plate stuff took all the brackets and stuff off that because that looked like shit over there anyway but man what a difference with the nice new headlights the black accent markers i will have to say i will probably have to take these off and put leds or something in there because the light itself is clear and i would like the corner markers itself to be orange to represent the side markers right now they're clear and they to me they kind of look a little crappy as far as the fog lights they're in everything is good let's take a quick walk around the side everything is looking really good for the most part i uh, this you know a few little touch-ups i still haven't painted the back drum black and the front caliper red to match and i have not put the uh, side skirts on yet still looking for a front lip haven't found it yet but again doesn't seem to be the worst thing. I'm really actually loving the red door handles. Now let's take a peek and let's go inside. As you guys can see, dash panels in, everything is looking good. Not glued, but you know, it's in just for the aesthetic parts and the looks for now. Everything over there is looking pretty good. Man, I can't wait to get the windows tinted. So now we're on, we gotta clean this joker. Oh, whoops, close the door, all the way. Gotta clean the joker, get her tinted up. Take it for the main voyage, um, as well on the back. Again, I still kind of feel that the back looks a little bit of plain. I'm not putting the Chevrolet and I'm not putting the Cavalier back on it, but I think I'm gonna get a little, bl a little black uh, marker and stuff there as well. Not gonna change the exhaust tip. The chrome is single exhaust tip, looks perfectly fine. And like I said, the black windows and everything, it's coming along looking good. So next, the final steps. Everything is getting everything all put together, get the windows tinted, get the side skirts put on, uh, potentially try and find a front lip. That would be really ideal. I would love to have the original GM front lip on it, but without it, because the car looks so low, it does kind of have a lower balance. I might be able to find an aftermarket one that may resemble it very closely, but not so uh i haven't had the best luck yet but i think i'm gonna get a uh like i said a black bow tie small one to mirror the original ones which are actually i have them over here which are like this 
but I think I would get the outline or get it maybe a solid black one. And this one actually came off the front of the car, kind of just like so. So I would like to have something on there to at least accent the front a little bit. Let me know what you guys think, but not this faded red one. I would like to have a little bit more modern black one uh, to put back on the car. I think that'll look uh, pretty good. Let's go on ahead and uh, go in the car and uh, turn the lights on so you guys can see all that. Go with the parking lights and the fog lights first. As you can see with the front end, looking pretty good. Looking pretty good. Absolutely looking good. And now you guys can see what I mean with the, uh, with the clears on the side. So I think we're gonna go ahead and just get some LEDs in there and we should be all good because those also are my uh, turn signals. And we'll go on ahead and uh, turn the high, uh, headlights on all the way. Beautiful, beautiful modernization. And they seem to be aimed pretty good. So probably still will need a little bit of adjusting, but nothing that uh, a socket in my hand can't go under there to adjust the headlights and the fog light. Once I get out of the garage, uh, we'll, we'll see. So uh, ain't got no plates or anything on it yet, so we'll have to uh, wait and see. But everything's coming along, looking good. All the lights and everything work on the inside. Everything is coming along beautiful. So we've got a few more parts still to get, like that rear view mirror and my visors. They still haven't come in yet. I don't know where they are. They must be on back order, you know, on the Pony Express from Detroit or something, but not 100% sure. Tail lights looking good. I'm actually going to leave them red. I'm not going to tint them. I think they actually look really good aesthetically, just red to match the car. I don't want to... Uh, make it look cheap or anything like that. Not that it's not a cheap car, but I don't want to make it look cheesy. You know what I mean? So uh, definitely going to put that black emblem on there. Also, maybe try and find a little stubby antenna. So I think that's going to wrap it up for this video. Uh, this one was just the rest of the aesthetics. Everything's coming along looking well. No more check engine lights. Car purrs like a kitten. It's not missing. Everything is perfectly good. And the, the next video, we'll uh, try and get some of the side skirts on and also go and get the windows tinted. And we should be rolling good. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys co uh, come back for the next one. Thanks for tuning in for the Speedbug channel. We'll have the next part coming up here real soon. As soon as we get some more parts in. And as soon as we get some more stuff to do on this thing. So thanks for tuning in. I'll see you guys on the next episode. Peace.